Yeah. Poppin' T Squad, it's me, Keisha, and I am here with a brand new behind the scenes T video. Today's video is all about Dr. Contessa putting Dr. Contessa on blast in an interview that she just recently did with Entertainment Tonight ahead of this Sunday's premiere of Married to Medicine. I'm excited to see the ladies back. It seems like it's been so long since we've gotten a new season of Married to Medicine. And this season looked like it's going to be very explosive, especially between Dr. Heavenly and Dr. Contessa. Take a look at the interview and see what all Dr. Heavenly had to say. Get into this tea. And the name on all your co-stars lips seems to be Heavenly. Everybody talks about everybody. Why do you think it is that way? I mean, this is kind of season after season, but this season especially, everybody seems to be after you. Why do you think that is? It's interesting because I started reviewing Married to Medicine via YouTube about five years ago. Giving my honest opinion. The people don't like my opinion. Heavenly has talked about us like dogs on her social media channel. Heavenly is called my marriage fake. Not only has Scott disrespected me, that he's abusive. Okay, do you think Contessa is in an abusive relationship? Verbally, emotionally. I mean, where do the insults end? And when does the friendship begin? So the person in particular who does not like your opinion is Contessa. We really start the season with you two at odds. She's quite upset with things you've said on your YouTube channel, on social media. How aware were you that she was in her feelings about those comments before it kind of came up within the group? Not at all. Contessa was actually on my YouTube. I got some oh. questions for you. Uh oh, don't have no questions for me. So for this season, and I don't give a damn what, what I think it was a storyline for her. We cannot act like last year didn't happen. At the reunion, I was ready to cry, okay? When they asked me questions about her, her marriage, and her husband, like, I didn't show a text with women in it. He did that. The picture was on, on your phone. Are you talking about DMs? You talking about, D well, I guess if you're saying DMs are another picture, I guess that's a picture, but no. He, Give this man a little advice about what not, you're seeing. What's wrong with that? I didn't say all the things that he said. I felt so bad I wanted to cry. I'm a ride or die friend. That's who I am. So if you watch my YouTube, all I did was uplift her. She took a small excerpt and ran with it. I don't want to say too much, y'all. I, I really hope that they can work things out. We do know that Scott does not always tell the truth, seemingly. They asked me, because Contessa would not speak at the reunion, she didn't say anything, right? It's almost like she was afraid to speak. She asked Quad to speak for her. Quad spilled all of her teeth. Contessa has moved forward with filing. You filed. For separation. What are you talking about? I'm gonna leave if she talking this because I mean this was uh, sneak attack. They had everything that was going on in her life. She was filing for a divorce. All these things happened, right? Come back to my YouTube. The people asked me, was she being abused? Abused? Physically? No. I don't. You know? No. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm dispelling that rumor. No. Emotionally. Verb, you saw it on TV. So don't make it look like I put it out there. No, it happened. Have the same energy for the person who did it. I'm a blogger. That's what I do. I blog. You ask me a question, I'm going to try to tell you the truth. Do so you feel like Contessa's emotions are misdirected in your direction? Absolutely. I said a hundred times during the season. A hundred times. Yes, it's misdirected. But I was so hurt. I really was. Because that was my friend, sir. I would have I would have drove up in the U-Haul with her and got all her stuff out. I would have done that. I've never expelled anything that she has not said on TV at all. I told her, listen, if you're going to stay, shut the fuck up because you're looking ignorant as hell. Stay in with the man. So if you're going to stay with him anyway, be quiet. Stop downing him. Uplift him. Now that bitch took all of my damn advice. Didn't even pay me. Took it. Used it. And then got mad at me. I still don't understand what the hell happened. I don't. So safe to say you felt blindsided by all of this. Absolutely, absolutely. The last time I spoke to Contessa was two weeks before we started filming. In fact, she came to my daughter's birthday party. We got pictures, we dapping it up. She gives me a kiss. During the filming time, she's texting me. 
telling me she loves me. I'm her sister. We don't want to argue. But then, watch the show. You. Come say that to my face. We're going to go on whatever this journey is with you and Contessa, which then seems to bubble over, bleed into the dynamics of the entire group. And we hear the women label you spoiled careless, reckless, that you treat your friends like enemies. How do you feel about this kind of deluge of um, commentary? I would say very interesting enough, the person that I probably owe an apology to for my blogs is Toya. But again, I only spoke the truth. The house stuff is very fishy because I done heard so much about it, but I ain't going to say nothing because I think this season nine, if they bring her back, but you know, Bravo's so messy. If you haven't met financial problem, they might let your ass go. I'm just saying. Now, if y'all don't want to talk about, please don't show it on TV. Because anything you tell me behind closed doors, I try not to repeat. I might have slipped up maybe once. But I, I don't lie because I can't remember. But you know what, sir? I'm going to tell you something. I should have more compassion. But I felt like I did. I swear to God, out of everybody on there, Contessa, I was so careful with my words. Andy asked me questions about her at the reunion. I said nothing. How do you feel about this perception that you prioritize likes and clicks and your social media following over your authentic friendships with the women? That's not true at all. I love to speak. And if we're going to do a blog, maybe I shouldn't where I eat, maybe that. However, if you put it on TV, the folk gonna talk about it. And trust me, I'm not the only one talking. Trust me, if I said something, I've had this conversation with Jackie, I've had it with Simone, I've had it with Paul, I've had these conversations. But I'm the type of friend, Bryce, that if you ask me a question, I'm gonna tell the truth. If you don't want the truth, I'm not that girl. I'm not that girl and you gotta decide whether we can be friends or not because I don't think I'm going to change. And now I do have compassion. I've cried with you. I've given you great advice. But when you see someone not take that advice or take it and twist it, that then complicates things. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think it's misdirected anger. Somebody took this advice and twisted it. That's my thought. But now I feel bad. I do. I, I will cry I, because she was my friend. But keep watching. I ain't gonna go past the episode. Keep watching. All right. Well, we uh, there's a big tease at the end of the premiere. Some sort of heavenly intervention slash, I think, blindside attack on you occurs. How does that go over? It does not go over well. Needless to say, you already know that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's Quad who says in the sneak peek we get that... It's an ambush. No, it's an ambush. Yeah, it's not getting, it was not about getting through to Heavenly. It was about getting Heavenly. Is that how you felt about it? You know what? I can take the hits better than any of them. Although, um, I just think that some of the things in the way they were done were snake ways of doing things. Rather than having a conversation with me, if you watch my whole YouTube video, you can see I did nothing but uplift her. Now, Toya, I told her ass up. However, Contessa was on there tearing her ass up with me. So we should both be mad at Toya. Quad, all this was jokes, right? Jackie don't give a damn as long as you don't insult her brand. Her brand is everything. The rest of that she could care less about. I know my friends, right? So there you have it. When you saw this gang up happening, did you think maybe I need to remove myself from this group at any point? No, I think the, uh, the most of the ladies understand me. She's the only one that does it. And the only reason she got with Toy was that was the only person she could feel like could come against me because we both had said so much about Toy. The rest of them, it was, it was, it was surface. How would you describe the journey? I guess we're going to see you and Contessa go on this season. Does it get better? Does it get worse? It's a roller coaster. I will say that. It's definitely a roller coaster, ups and downs. In the trailer, we see you telling Jackie um, that there's a friendship that can't be fixed. This is unacceptable. How do we fix the friendship? Jackie, I don't know if we can. Are you talking about Contessa in that moment? Or are you talking about somebody yes, else? Yes, I'm talking about Contessa in that moment. But Jackie doesn't give people time to even digest what the hell happened. She always trying to fix things as soon as it happens. And I'm like, Jackie, damn, can we think about what just happened before we come up with a solution? Give me 48 hours. At least give me 20 minutes. From the what I had seen, it seems like a heavy season. 
But from how you're explaining stuff, it seems that you held your own and then some. So how would you think, just describe season nine uh, for you? I think that if you make me your storyline, I will be your storyline. Lean in. I think okay. I listen to that woman that she did not already know I said that was said on TV. I never exposed anything that was not said on TV by her mate. So be mad at me or be mad at the person who did it. I don't know. Now, was she really mad? I don't know. I mean, it appeared that way. But if it wasn't, it was a hell of a storyline. So I don't know. Looking ahead, everything you know you lived and filmed, is there anything you're excited for people to see? Or is it going to be rough water? The growth of my family, we show heavenly beauty supply. The growth of all my friendships. You know, me and Quad, we have little spats, but I love her. She's my sister and she's a real one. She doesn't become a snake and try to go to people that are adversaries, you know, people that are, you know, against me and try to get them to come all against me. I don't respect things like that. If you have a problem with me, come talk to me and I explain you just like I'm explaining to you. Right. I was actually defending you if you watch the YouTube videos, Contessa. Essentially, give me the courtesy of a conversation right before you But jump. my opinion is she had to have watched them, right? She didn't watch that one two-second insert. She watched it. It also seems that Vegas is maybe quite the trip. <laughs> uh, there's a flash moment of you and maybe some dancers um, having a moment. Uh, how does Daddy feel about that clip <laughs> circulating Daddy the internet? Daddy does not know. He has not seen that clip. I done told y'all before, and if Andy missed his ass, don't show it to him. He never see it, okay? I was having <laughs> a good time. We were drinking. They made me queen of the night, and I just played along. You know what I'm saying? I only have eyes for one man, one man only, and I've only been with my man, and we were just having fun. It was very surface. Okay. Well, I'm excited to see you be queen of the night, queen of every verbal battle that comes your way, because we know you always hold your own. Um, and wherever the it's hell this thing, thing goes. Though. That's not a good thing. It's a good thing in the parameters of reality television. Well, there you go. Ooh, child. This interview was spicy, honey. It actually has gotten me amped up about this Sunday's premiere of Married to Medicine. Now I'm going to be going into the season premiere really focusing in on Dr. Contessa to see is she using this as a storyline this season to take the the focus off of her marriage because you know that was a big focal point of the last season of Married to Medicine so I'm excited about this Ooh, child this is a mess let me know what y'all think about Dr. Contessa's interview down below in the comment section let me know if you all are excited about this new season let's talk down below in the comment section once again make sure to thumbs up this video like and subscribe and hit that notification bell button I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video bye